Now I made this little trolley or jig up which holds the vacuum and also has a little slot for my isolating tool that is three quarters of an inch offset from the outside of the board. Why did I do that? Well, this gives me a perfect guide to cut right in the middle of that board so we'll be able to secure the existing drywall, but also secure the new drywall that we'll be putting in for a patch. Now I'm just doing a little test section here, make sure everything's working out, and it looks pretty good, so I'll continue to progress. Let me know, do you think this is a good idea or a bad idea? Overall, after using it on this section, and then having it for future projects. I think it is pretty darn handy to be able to cut right in the middle of that board and not have any issues trying to freehand it. You're confident that you're gonna get exactly right in the middle, which helps you secure your drywall as you're doing your patch. And also having the vacuum right there, especially when we're doing a patch in our living space, really helps to reduce the mess. If you're not careful and you don't have a vacuum and you're just cutting drywall and then you go sand your drywall, you will have drywall dust all over all your furniture, your tables, your, your TV. So just be careful and take your time. So I will have to freehand the rest of this hole, opening things up, again, using that vacuum as much as possible. And overall, things look pretty good. And I'm right down the middle of those studs, so it'll be easy to secure this patch. But if you don't have to go to that corner, which I did because I had water damage, don't. That will make it easier to mud if you're not dealing with the inside corner. Now, I actually like this little guy and we'll be saving it for future projects. Let me know if you have any questions on your own DIY drywall repair and I'll be happy to jump in the comments and help you out. And reference right below this video for any links to the products or tools that we used in this video. Now, if you wanna see this actual complete video, which is where I had a water leak for one of my three quarter inch copper pipes, damaged a ton of drywall. I had to cut all that drywall out as you saw and then work through the patch, including the knockdown texture and trying to match that. Check this video right here and I'll walk you through that full process. Thanks for joining me on this video and we'll catch you on that next one. Take care.